How's it going guys? Rhino here and welcome back to This Is The Police. It's been a little bit since I played this because I had a little break where I was doing some No Man's Sky and then also had some other stuff I needed to do. So yeah, I'm really excited to be back into this because I freaking love this game. Feminist protest meets angry police. Police break up feminist protest. Freeburg authorities halt campaign citing city safety. What? Oh, interesting. I'm, I'm really looking forward to seeing how this unfolds, and it is based on the decisions you make, I believe. I got tickets to go watch this filming of a TV show. I've always wanted to be on TV. Can I have the day off? No, that's stupid. Chief, my son came down with a serious illness. Yes. I'm sorry about that, Tsubaki. Tsubaki. Alrighty. So, let's get right into this. How do I prepare? I, I don't know. Labor market? What? What is going on? Oh, I can hire someone. Hire for shift A. I believe shift A I have less people. Oh, that's right. I think someone quit at the uh, in the last video. Attempted murder. An ice cream van struck a schoolboy. The ambulance arrived quickly, but the boy was declared dead on the scene. Jesus, that's not attempted murder, then. That's murder. The nearby residents are enraged and demand justice of the driver of the van. He's currently holed up inside the ambulance while the paramedics try to reason with the crowd. The situation is quickly spiraling out of control. Uh, we'll send Purdy. Go have fun, Purdy. I think I could send SWAT to that, actually. I don't know if SWAT's really needed in that kit. Oh! I was thinking about the criminal. I wasn't thinking about the fact that they may riot and kill the guy. Sure. Improve my SWAT team. I don't... I don't really care. Uh, Jack. Some black gangsters hit one of our shops. It's too much for us to deal with right now. Can you help? Sure, I'll send my three lowest officers to help. That's the, uh, just in case you don't remember. Oh, God. If it's more serious, then why can't I just send the SWAT team? Yeah, I didn't think about the rioting part. That, I, I wasn't thinking about the flip side. I was thinking about the, uh, the, the, the criminal himself getting caught. Oh no, it's starting to rain. Jack, we have something going on at the courthouse at 1830. Okay. So don't send people to that. Which, once again, I feel bad for being a bad cop, but I feel like it's part of the game. Well, I gotta send my two remaining police officers. Police officers. An elderly man called the police station reporting that terrible screams have been coming from the sawmill for over an hour. The hell is going on? What's a guy got to do to get a little sleep around here? You better go check it out. I don't like having to send my two best officers on that. What happened here? Off offender caught, officers unharmed, civilians unharmed. Boosh. That's how you do it. Ooh, and I get my three officers back here. Mr. Boyd, I manage a large fleet of vehicles and wanted to organize a workshop for new drivers. They have to learn how to behave on the road, so patrolmen will never even need to look twice for our cars. Please send three of your best officers. They'll ride all day with my people and explain the inter in intricacies of traffic flow and police monitoring. I've heard about the problems your department faces, particularly your obsolete fleet of police vehicles, so in return I'd be happy to donate a paddy wagon. No. Fuck you. I don't want to do... That, I want to I wanna do my job. I want to stop crime. I don't want to stop or train people. Outside of my, my police officers, I obviously want to train my police officers if I could, you know, improve them. The sawmill is surrounded by a knife fence and the gates are locked on the outside. Shirts can be, shouts can be heard from the inside. Break the gate open. A hit man is, is threatening a young boy with a circular saw. The man is screaming hysterically. Pounce on the criminal. Fender caught. Officers unharmed. Civilians unharmed. I did not think that... Pouncing on the criminal doesn't seem like the right thing to do, but okay. You know? Whatever works. Oh, wait, that's the thing. Uh, drugstore. An emergency call was received. 
From an all-night drugstore, an addict is attempting to gain unlawful entry. He violently threatened a female pharmacist, demanding she open the cabinets. We're going to send our four lower lower ones on that one because that's not too serious. It's just a drugged-out guy, which I've personally come in contact with quite a bit. The, uh, the college that I go to is in a, a, a pretty shady town, but it's like not near campus it's like a few blocks off campus but right where i live is where it's like the sketchy area so i, do, I see drug addicts all the time and it's pretty pretty scary oh wow homicide jesus christ that's that's the one i can't respond to robbery fender caught officers unharmed civilians unharmed boom we're having a good day Ooh, is that the end of the day? Is that the first, first day? I'm happy if that's the end of the day and that's, uh, we had basically a perfect day. Fuck, it's not. Assault. Emergency medical services arrived on call for a man complaining about of chest pains. While they're treating him, the man suddenly attacked one of the EMTs, shouting wildly about the global pharmaceutical conspiracy. The other personnel managed to escape and called the police. Once again, we'll do the four lowest. No, we'll, we'll do three lowest and then our best. Toss someone with stripes on there to boost their performance. I wish I could decline them so then I can I don't have to worry about these messages floating here. Yes. Civilian killed. Jesus Christ. <laughs> that escalated quickly. Wow. The door to the apartment is locked from the inside and, and unintelligible screams can be heard from within. Break down and knock- oh, knock on the door. I thought that said knock down the door. Break down the door. The victim is bound and lying on the floor. The assailant is sitting on top of him waving a syringe filled with an unknown substance. A bottle of bleach is on the floor nearby. What the fuck? The man jumps up and grabs some papers from the table. Everything is written down here. All the evidence you need. They created these medications to control our minds. Strike the man with a nightstick. Oh! I think I might get in trouble for stri striking him with a nightstick, but... In my personal opinion, in a situation like that, uh, striking him with a nightstick is perfectly fine because he was actually risking someone else's life. I mean, injecting someone with bleach would be fucking brutal. It'd be a different response than swallowing. Swallowing bleach will kill you, but in a completely different way than injecting it into your veins. It's it's pretty fucked up, actually. Rogers is responsible for Freeburg PD breakdown. Freeburg to host semifinals of Youth Hockey League? Question mark? Mayor Rogers displeased with police department. Oh, fuck you. I don't care about you, Major Rogers. Ma Mayor, Major Rogers? Mayor Rogers. So I basically have to, like... We received noise complaints. In your opinion, did any other participants of the pro protest pose any actual danger to others? It's hard to say. That's a damn good answer right there. That's exactly what I was thinking. None of your business. What are your personal feelings about women? That's an improper question. Very true. Very true. Very, very true. Yes. What the fuck? In my new role as corrupt official, I had to give up some of my favorite habits. I couldn't turn off my phone when my head ached. Couldn't sleep till noon on Saturday and let the rest of HQ take up the slack. No more days off to go fishing. But my weekly visit to the old colony club was more like tradition. One night a week, I absorbed cigar smoke, the vague smell of alcohol, the stench of urine, all mixed with toxic levels of old drunken belches. Same picture it was 30 years ago. Tradition's gotta be honored. And to stay faithful to the tradition, you've got to respect the standard rituals. 
When you're about to roll out of the club, you need to take a deep breath and count to a hundred. If your stomach doesn't do a backflip, you should be good to make it home. This time, I only got up to sixty. I was interrupted. So he's drunk. Hi. You look even better than you do on TV. There's nothing more impolite than approaching people in the alley at the old colony. This is the most private place in the city. All who enter here dirty their shoes with the most elite stream of vomit in Freeburg. This asphalt has been blessed by judges, lawyers, artists, businessmen, and all our politicians. Takes a lot of balls to crash the party. My head was a drunken haze, but I knew who he was. A cartoon gangster suit straight out of Dick Tracy. Fancy voice, fruit cologne, sassy strut. That's how the newspapers described Vickis Varga, rising star in Freeburg's criminal underworld. He appeared out of nowhere, and with the support of the local punks, Varga broke all the old rules of organized crime. He killed those who could not be killed, traded what could not be traded, and robbed those who could not be robbed. In just a single month, this man had gathered an incredible amount of power. He's been called everything from a clown to a madman to a criminal genius, and more often than not, he's called a low-class upstart short on ideas. But if Vargas was one of the old crime bosses, He'd have been cut into pieces and fed to the river. Look past this guy's arrogance and there's something about him. The city is still deciding what to do with him. Meanwhile, he's burning down the houses of old city mobsters. Not the best time to talk, Mr. Varga. No, oh, you know my name. I'm flattered. Although not very surprised, to be honest. I might be a little short on manners. Like they say in your fair city, with the right manners, you can go anywhere. Well, I don't want to go anywhere. I want to stay right here. Even the criminal world needs manners, Mr. Varga. And one of them is this. Don't interfere with a drunken cop who's trying to take a shit and puke at the same time. <laughs> oh, you exaggerate. But is Freeburg always so gentle with its officers? You've been a bit roughed up lately. I see you already know Freeburg quite well, Mr. Varga. Well, I love to learn and look around. But I do know that the inhabitants of this fair city should be friends, Jack. Maybe it's true I don't have the best manners. After all, it's only polite for friends to share their phone numbers. Oh, God. This city of yours moves so fast. I feel like I'm hooked on amphetamines all over again. You wake up in the morning full of ideas, and by nightfall, you've all had each other killed. I'm getting involved with so another don't gangster. Wait too long to call. I don't mind if you're drunk. It's all the more fun. I'll be stoned myself, most likely. Hell, I'm a little stoned right now. It's the only way to live in this place. I like your city, Jack. I'm here to stay. If it weren't for the phone number written on my arm, I probably wouldn't have remembered the conversation in the morning. But there was no reason to worry. I'd be getting a reminder soon. Shit. That means that there's going to be more things to manage because I've got to manage the city. I've got to manage city hall. So my job essentially a mobster gangster over here who will kill me if I don't follow his orders. And now there's a third party coming in Orthodox priest bribe mayor Greek priest to be appointed head of Freeburg Orthodox Church. All right. Students volunteer to help farmers. Not very interesting titles to be honest on that one. I wonder if my wife comes back. That'll be interesting to see. My morning ritual was plagued by the smell of Vicus Varga's fruity cologne. It was like the sharp citrus scent was chasing me around the house, as if Vicus was right there in my living room. When I finally realized the smell was coming from a big basket of oranges, it didn't put me any more at ease. 
I'd opened my door to lots of threatening mail, evidence of criminal wrongdoing, even a dead ferret or two. But fruit? Never. Never. You the fruit guy? Excuse me? Was it you that brought the basket of oranges? Nah, it was here when I arrived. Fine. So who are you? Today, I'm your driver. And uh, where are we driving? To work. That's it? Yeah, we have to make an important stop along the way. Where? The ranch. What ranch? Just the ranch. Fine. Fine. Oh shit, the that's a nice ranch. surreal, and I took in the magic. Why wreck it with meaningless chatter? As my tight-lipped chauffeur drove an hour through God knows where, I started to feel like I was in the middle of a bad dream, probably oh, no. lying bloody and concussed in the alley behind the old colony club, my nose buried in a rotten orange peel. But no, this was no dream. The silence was real. The sound of the engine was real. The dust was real enough, too. And there was the ranch over the horizon. It all seemed familiar. The Sand family's overbearing mansion has been the talk of the headlines for decades, but few have managed to get closer than a few miles. Okay, so I this is Christopher lucky. Sand. He's, he's probably going to threaten me for, if I get involved with this other guy. That's my guess. We'll, we'll see what's going to happen. Ominous music. Jack. I didn't know you took private meetings, Mr. Sand. Only if I expect good company. I'm surprised Aww, my flattery. company at all. Today, yes. Today is a special day. So it seems. Do you often go to the old colony club, Jack? Every week. Meet any interesting people there? As a rule, no. Sometimes you make a date, right? Sometimes make new friends. Sometimes, I guess. But that's not why I go. Then why? I consider it a hobby. Hmm. A hobby? Do you know anything about my hobbies? Well, judging by the half-dozen animal skins I stepped on walking over here, it's not much of a reach to say you like hunting. Love it. Well, I say that now. It seemed so tedious when I was a child. Took ever so long. But now, I'm older. I've developed a new talent. Oh, what talent is that? Patience. The will to wait for the right moment. Let's say you want a deer. You know, you deserve it. You've even decided what dishes its meat will go to and where you'll mount its horns. But to get that deer, you have to wait. To sit in the bushes and stay nice and quiet. Professional hunters will tell you that the hunt is a rare craft. There are many rules. It's shrouded in mystery and ancient skill. Well, that's all complete nonsense. To get a deer, you just sit on the sidelines for a long enough time, pinpoint the moment when it's finally time to shoot. I learned the talent, Jack. But not like you, oh, Jack. You truly are the master. I don't understand. Oh, come on, Jack. I know about the half million. I know your plan. Kendrick told me everything. My Needless to say, I'm Oh, impressed. okay. While some people learn to hold their breath for minutes on end and not to rustle the leaves too loudly, why you decided to just become the foliage. You turned yourself into a bush. Surrounded by deer who've been so fruitfully multiplying for decades. But all this time you've held your rifle at the ready. Uh, forgive an old man his imagery, Jack. I have the heart of a poet, I confess. Look, I don't know what was said between you and Kendrick, but it sounds like you got it wrong. Oh, I think I understand everything just fine. And I think we understand each other quite well. Jack, in the coming war, we'll make excellent partners. What war? One war falls upon every generation. My grandfather drove out the Ambersons back when he was 27. 
My father destroyed that psychopath gangster, Boris Bell, when he was a sprightly thirty. At sixty-nine, I'd begun to think my war had passed me over. But my time has Vargas. come at last. Tomorrow, Vicus Varga declares war, and I'm obliged to answer. So, we're talking about Varga now. I don't know how he thinks. I don't even know whether he plans his actions or not. I can't divine his purpose. Hell, I don't even know where he comes from. He's a man not of our breed, wouldn't you say? But when he arrived here, I invited him in, told him we could work together. An official invitation penned in my own hand and written on some very expensive paper. And can you imagine his reply? A fruit basket. What sense can be made of such a message? I guess it means whatever you want it to. Precisely. I'm late for work, Mr. Sand. You know, Jack, I could just give you half a million right now. Cash, whatever denominations you like. But I would never insult you so. If I went stalking my prey for so many years, I wouldn't want someone else to shoot it for me. I understand you, Jack. And I'll never ask you for anything that's contrary to your nature. Just think about our conversation. Think about it. And call me. It sounds like I'm being asked to pick sides here. <sighs> Don't get involved with gangsters, guys. It's a bad thing. God, this cutscene is so long. Like I said, it's a whole new life. And I've had to give up some old habits. One of them, keeping away from things that don't concern me. Now I can't afford the luxury. This spotlight I'm under, concerns is all I got. All I got. Fuck me. I'm going with... I like sand better. I made the wrong decision last time I had a decision like this to make. But I like Sand better. I like him. He's a cooler... Seems like a nicer guy in general. Tell him it's Boyd. No, I'm... I'm skipping the rest of that. We... Okay, I picked a side. There you go. Alright. You've been found guilty of abusing your powers. The city requires that your salary be reduced by 50%. Well, fuck you. Aw. My request was denied. Fuck. Alright, give me some give me some crimes. Give me some shit going on. We received a call from a nightclub manager who said that the brawl broke out between the main hall involving over twenty men. Jesus Christ. Security are keeping box because some of the combatants are carrying knives. Several wounded are lying on the dance floor, but no one knows where the, where the mayhem broke out. Boom. Had to send five fucking cops to that one. Well, I didn't have to, chose to. But I feel like that's a pretty serious one, so we'll want to get through that. Because I could literally lose, I could lose officers and civilians in that one. And I don't want to. There's a fruit fly buzzing around me while I record. He wants to be in the video. He wants to be on YouTube. Oh my lord. Well... Fuck. Well, Purdy, you're going by yourself. Two teens walking their dog got into an argument. Unleashed the dog. The police were called by a girl who's riding her bicycle nearby. Well then. I have no police. I could just send the SWAT. You know. Traffic stop gets out of hand. Send the SWAT team in. Domestic violence case. Send the SWAT team in. Offender caught, officers unharmed, civilians unharmed. Hell yes. A boy is struggling on the ground, barely holding off the dog. Hit the dog with a taser. Oh 
Oh yeah, Purdy got it all by herself. Good job. Shit. Hurry back, guys. There's a crime going. There's, there's a fucking homicide going on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Almost there. Almost there. Boom. Homicide. Par parishioner M Maria Serpentine. Serpentine reported that sounds of gunshots inside the church. A bearded man in a hat entered the confessional, and then a minute later I heard a few gunshots. Then the man calmly left the booth, took off his hat, and crossed himself. Sat, sat on a pew. I think he's praying. Okay. We'll send the SWAT team into this one. <laughs> Jesus Christ, the SWAT team bursting into a church. It's going to be a false alarm, like probably. But. Attempted murder... Linda Howard, her words slurred to the dentist that paralyzed her face during her latest visit. The monster stuck me with some kind of poison. Arrest him. You mean, um, fucking Novocaine? Novocaine's not a poison. Well, I think technically it is. If you have, like, cause, I mean, whoa. If you have too much of it, it would obviously kill you, but I, I don't know. Cool. Sending the SWAT team worked. Loot found non-automatic weapon. Bring to the police station. I'm got I'm going to be bad but not too bad. All right, attempted murder. The girl was injected with normal painkillers. What the fuck did I say? Novocaine, which is a normal painkiller. Pretty heavy painkiller, but normal. Ten eleven B in progress. Ten eleven terrorism. An ice cream vendor noticed a suspicious black bag, which has been lying unsupervised on the bench for the last few hours. That's pretty, that could be a, uh, a bomb. We actually had a bomb threat at my college once. There was something placed in a trash can and it looked really suspicious. And so they evacuated everybody and called in like some pretty serious, like a pretty serious task force to, to deal with it. It turned out to be nothing. Officers arrived on the scene and observed there was something moving inside the bag. Open the bag. Cool. Yeah, if it's moving, it's probably not a bomb, so. <sighs> Could have been a... I wish, it, I wish I knew what was moving inside the bag. What, what the fuck did you put in the bag that was moving? It's kind of a dick move. Cool. That was a good day, too. I think we had two perfect back-to-back -back days. All right. Well, that's about it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to comment, rate, and subscribe. And as always, have a nice day.